The world of robots just keeps expanding each time we review it. This world of never-ending capabilities has a lot to offer in this world. Robots are often called the future of this world. Their capabilities are speculated to be far higher than what the reality actually is. Though we do not mean that they are not capable as they are being presented to be, we think that it is time we look into these technologies and find out the true purposes of their existence. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we will be looking into a few of the most important aspects of this world, the world of robots. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and also let us know what you think could be the future that these robots have. Tell us your speculations about the kind of interaction that we may have with these wired, man-made creatures, and what will be the fate that they bring upon us. Without any more delays, let us get started with today's video. The first one for today is Asimo by Honda. Though you may not have heard a lot from Honda, recently, they have been quite active in the world of robots. Their inventions in this sphere have been able to raise a lot of eyebrows and have created a unique buzz in this world of science and tech. Asimo is one of the most advanced robots that are capable of standing up and balancing itself, along with being able to balance itself in the best possible way. It is also one of the best robots to interact with. However, it is not as advanced as Sophia in terms of speech. As a matter of fact, one of the major highlights of this robot is the movements that it showcases. These movements are pretty refined, and they can even run pretty naturally on various terrains. The robot is capable of balancing itself while adjusting to the changes in the terrain. This makes it totally different from what the technology has been in the past. One of the most amazing features, that it has the ability to sense its surroundings and adjust the speed at which it runs and walks. That means that it has an active system that constantly monitors what goes on around it and gives feedback to figure out the best way to avoid any forms of collision. Oh, to top it off with a cherry, the robot can even dance and showcase a few of its moves that will certainly leave you awestruck. It can jump around, move in almost any manner you want it to, hop around on a single leg and do practically everything that human limbs are designed to do, including kicking a ball. Of course, it is not as good as your favorite soccer player, but it does the job. It can get down the stairs and even climb up, use gestures, and be able to communicate in various forms. Now, in case you're too lazy for your shift today, you can make this robot do the weight at the tables while you work. In all, this robot is a complete package that defines natural movements in the best manner. Next up, we have the Pet Mint. Now, this may look like a robot covered in a radiation suit for you. However, if you look closely, it has been designed with a lot of attention to detail. If you strip the robot off from the radiation suit-like clothing, you will notice that it has quite a usual shape, and there isn't anything unique about the shape per se. However, the uniqueness lies in the manner in which it moves and puts itself together. One of the downsides is that the robot looks like it is marching rather than walking. The legs lift up too high at each step and the walk seems a bit too stompy if you look closely at it. The robot is a top class example of what modern science is capable of on the technological front. The robot is also able to get a few other things together, for example, some stretching positions and others that make them look exactly like a human being. It can move all its limbs simultaneously, which gives it the advantage of maintaining its balance constantly. The robot is also connected to a few cables and lines, which keeps it fed with power at all times. This makes us understand that the robot may not have been introduced with an individual power supply in each one of them. The balance of this robot is not as great as the other two. And we would say that they may not even be at all good because the application of lines was not only for the reasons of power supply to the robot, the next one is called the Kawada HRP-4, a pretty loud robot and looks a lot like a person covered in a futuristic spacesuit. This robot looks very good and can move in almost all the ways that a human being can. The way it works is an absolute treat to the eyes and will certainly help you get over all the favorites you've had in the past. Though the movements are not as smooth as they were in the present ones, they do a really good job and manage to get things done really well. This robot is also about mobility and it is not meant to be very smart orally. From what we can understand, this robot can take verbal commands. However, we do not have enough resources to make a complete assertion on that. The robot is one of the pioneers in terms of more futuristic and humane robots, and is also an example for all robots and their developers intending to make them balance on their own feet. If a human was not humane enough for you, on allegations of one being not present emotionally, 
we are going to make life harder for you. This robot, who is emotionally not at all available, has the ability to walk and even move in the smoothest manners. This one is called the Atlas. This is one robot that has a very good representation run and showcases enough strength in its legs and thighs. It can make tall jumps and even get on top of the obstacles without having to face a lot of issues. It has the ability to maintain a good grip among the other robots and also be able to work out the hurdle challenges in the healthiest possible manner. The robot is well aware of the situations around it, which helps it calculate the important numbers to make the said move. Irrespective of what anyone says, the robot has some really good thigh muscles, not visually, but in terms of the purpose they have been resolving for the college team. To make it all even more better, the robot can even get a backflip done for you. Things just keep getting better and better for them. This robot can also adjust itself based on the surroundings, and replays also show us a very good skill being showcased by them. Even though it looks really heavy, it looks like the robot is not as heavy as we thought it might be. The robot can make a run for it and get you things faster than you have to get out of the car one by one. Toyota's third generation humanoid robot would be one of the best if you would design the model even further. This one is called the THRG. The robot is inversely as capable as its name is short. The robot is capable of full body cooperation and even takes part in a few yogas and exercises. The Zumba classes in the gym are generally too exhausting for you. The system being used in this robot is extremely safe and reliable. This was later testified by Akfumi Tamagoki. There are a total of 29 points on their body, so this gives them a huge degree of movement and makes things the best for them to have. The joints can also be controlled in a synchronized manner with the help of a remote. These are all the additions to the system's other features. The head mount display helps the operator see what the robot sees as well. This is a very good technology that tells the operator not only about his position, but also about the force being applied to it. So that was all for today. We will meet you in the next video. If you like this one, continue watching all of our other videos. We will meet you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe though.